All right, we're going to be reviewing Zaptiste, who is playing Baptiste on Circuit Royale. This is Platinum 2. I think it's on PC. This is what they said. Uh, I have two games I'd like reviewed, but I'm grateful to get just one checked out. Uh, so they posted a loss and then a win. Uh, they changed their sensitivity between the first game and the second game. We will be reviewing the second game, so this is a rare scenario where I'll actually be reviewing a win. And they said, please let me know uh, what I can adjust and do better. This is my first time playing like this uh, in terms of... I would say, you know, they say they make better decisions with positioning and crosshair movement. Uh, I would normally play with a more defensive mindset or reactive play style. I suppose that means this was a proactive style I tried out. After watching both, I think overall I need to be more aware of my teammates and take time to learn where I need to position myself to allow me to heal and damage effectively. I also need to smooth out my aim. It was very cold in my room, so it was jittery, but my aim is always somewhat like that. It helps Zana, but this is about gameplay. Okay, so interestingly, the uh, reason why I'm doing a win instead of a loss is I actually want to use this as an opportunity to try my plus one, minus one system for, for, for winning games, right? So for people who aren't aware, I've talked in other videos about like kind of like a mental model that I use to see like, do I deserve to win a game? And the short answer is you, you break the game down to team fights, okay? Roughly, you know, one team fight every 30 to 45 seconds. And then in the team fight, did you do enough that you deserve to win the fight? Right, which is often doing something like getting a pick, throwing a big grenade, you know, um, knocking somebody out of position, something like really big like that. That's a plus one. Did you do something that caused your team to lose the team fight or deserve to lose the team fight? Like, did you get picked? Right? Are you out of position? Do you mess up a key ability? Something along those lines. That's a minus one. And if you just play regular average, that's a zero. And you sum them over the course of the game, the plus ones, the minus ones, and you get some number. If it's positive, that means you're more likely to win the game. If you're negative, then you're less likely to win the game. And that's what I consider deserve, right? So plus two is like roughly a 55% win rate. Plus four is like a 65% win rate. Plus six is insane. Like that's, that's you're looking at, you know, 75% win rate plus. So we're going to look at it from this perspective. Also along the way, we're going to talk about like tips, but I'm primarily using this as an opportunity to, to talk about the plus one minus one uh, system in terms of like how much did you deserve to win this game? come out right here. I've already pre-watched most of this video. I think one issue is that you jump too much, both boots and regular jump. I think jump way too much. So you pop heal there. I don't know that you need this. I wouldn't have popped this right here. I know he gets hit, he gets hit by stickies, but first of all, he's not below 50%, so you don't get the bonus heal. Second, he's already behind cover. There's no way the Sigma can die right now. I would save shift, right? You have 15 seconds on shift now. This is a really big ability to not have. Regen burst, right? Shift, regen burst. So I don't think that's a good call to do that right now. Missing with some of these grenades, I would just splash his feet rather than trying to go for the direct. Now you've used too much healing and you notice that your ammo is way out of sync, right? You have 21 shots and only two healing, which makes it hard for you to heal. You focus on shooting the ride, which is okay here. I think you can still weave in a grenade, which doesn't hurt. And I think it's a good habit because the ride is not like about to die. Like if the ride is like 100 health, fine, just shoot him exclusively. But in this situation, you're just working the shield down. Like if this is an attrition situation, I think just go ahead and, and heal your Sigma. Don't worry about the backline, not your job, right? As long as the Mercy's here, understand who your other support is. Very important to playing support correctly, right? Mercy should be handling the DPS. You need to be keeping your Sigma up. You do not want the Mercy healing your Sigma ever, basically. It is your job to keep the Sigma up. Losing LOS of your Sigma is a mistake. This is 100% a mistake. So now you're out of position. Your Sigma's gotten super low because you go a long time without healing the Sigma, okay? Your Sigma, your Sigma's low right now. 108, two, three, four, right? It's four seconds until you start healing the Sigma again. I, there's no reason for this. Like, if I'm the Sigma, I'd be so confused. Nothing is going on in your backline that should cause you to not be healing your Sigma right now. Like, yeah, you get hit by the Fire Strike, but who cares? Like, just heal your Sigma, right? You still haven't healed them that, that missed, right? Still haven't healed them, still haven't healed them, still haven't healed them. And now you just start healing them again, right? And you force regen burst instead. This is just inefficient. Like, does it cost you the fight? It doesn't. But in other situations, it will, because you're not being efficient about your your ability usage and your decision making, right? Make sure to heal. You step forward here unnecessarily. This is very dangerous, right? It's almost in swing range and then you almost get killed for it, right? Little things like that. There's no need for you to be stepping to here. Like you have a range attack, like just stay here. That's fine. Stay here, right? Come out just a little bit. You can even play over here. So you're a little farther away. Distance is safety, right? The farther you are away from them against everyone but dive heroes, right? The farther you are away from the front line, the safer you are. So try to play not one meter away from the front line, but like five meters, 10 meters away. Your draw, your fall off damage is 25 meters, so you can go pretty far. So overall, I would say this is pretty inefficient play. As I've seen, I wouldn't consider this negative one level, but it's certainly not anything where I'm like, oh, you're carrying it with your mechanics right now. You're just, this is just, uh, okay, uh, like borderline poor, but not bad enough that I would give you a minus one yet. But team fight's still going. Go for the echo. Doing a little shooting. You pop regen burst here for no reason. 
right? Like, your Sigma's missing 100 health, that's it. Like, this is just two grenades, and he's clearly not in any danger of dying. And then you pop reach, like, literally, you're hitting regen burst right now. Like, no one is low. This is a very, very bad call. It's a poor ability usage. I think that's probably minus one territory right there. And now you step back a lot. I think this is questionable because this is a time where you should be stepping forward. You see your team's moving forwards while you're moving backwards. You're not reading the fight correctly. Your team is trying to accelerate the fight. You are trying to slow down the fight. You need to be in sync. If your team is pushing in, you push in with them. If your team is falling back, you fall back with them, right? I think the opposite way is more obvious. If they are, if your team is falling back, you're obviously not going to push in, right? I think that's pretty clear, but the vice versa needs to be true too. If your team pushes in, you push in with them, right? Step forward. No real need to be using boosters here, right? Now you're only healing. You end up getting killed, but at this point the fight's basically over because the Rhine has died, right? The most important thing here was that the Rhine died, and um, like that, you had very little to do with this for the most part, right? Like I would have liked if you were constantly applying pressure to him, but you're not. I would give you, I would honestly give you a minus one for this. I think that this level of play, like if this was your play the entire game, I would say that you are probably going to fall out of this rank. And actually, having seen the whole game, I think both your tank and your DPS were better than their their tanks and DPS, uh, in, in my opinion. Continuing forwards. All right, shooting. One thing to always think about is fall off distance for Baptiste. It's huge. Baptiste's damage falls off a ton. So he has a 25 meter fall off distance. 25 meters is roughly where your Sigma is. I would guess it's like roughly this distance, maybe a little, little bit closer. So don't try to avoid shooting targets that you care about farther than that, right? That's really like the limit of where you're getting maximum damage in. There's no need to jump here, right? This this spot right here, steer's good, right? Just play here. You're good. Just stay here. Don't don't move around. Don't do anything weird. You're not weaving at all, right? See, now you're exclusive healing. I would consider this bad. Now, for some reason, you're breaking LOS on your team when the fight is super engaged. Like, why are you not shooting the Sigma right now? Like, why are you going to the side? Like, what is, what is happening here? <laughs> I, I, I could understand if you're doing this. I mean, I don't think it's a good call, but I can understand if you're doing this to like flank and get a shot. But first of all, you have the exact same shots here. It's not like they have any cover from this perspective. And number two, you go over here just to start healing again, which is weird, right? Like you're just, you completely stop weaving right now. You use regen burst, which is, I think is too far away. Uh, I think you barely got the Sigma, but I don't think you knew that that was gonna hit the Sigma. So go for the Mercy, which is right call. Yep, good kill here. So I would say generally this felt pretty inefficient to me, but you do kill the Mercy. I don't know that it was at a meaningful time, but we'll even it out and call it zero for that team fight. So, so far I would say it does not feel like you're carrying your team at all, which means not higher than 50% win rate or 55-ish, let's say. Moving card, that's the right call. Um, I would, I think boost is okay here. I would be careful not to like overuse it because especially if they have a hit scan like they do now with the Ash, like, you can just die before you hit the ground. Sigma gets uh, flux into the air. You should be targeting the Echo right now. Echo should be your primary target, not the tank, especially since the tank is grasping. You shoot the tank anyway, you shoot the shield. You should have been going for the Echo. Where else oh, just, did she transform? What the heck, how did she get out of this? Lift. Ah, that's what happens, okay. Um, anyway, you still weren't shooting the Echo, right? It's not like you were shooting the Echo and then she gets gripped away. You're just not shooting the Echo at all for some reason. Instead, you're shooting the Sigma. Feeds him a bunch of health. You're healing. You need to be weaving right now. Okay, and then you fail to save your Genji. I think you could have saved this Genji pretty realistically. Like, you saw the rock. You had the ability to throw a lamp here. You could have landed the grenade. Any of those things would have caused them to survive. I would consider this a minus one. Mercy, forget about it. <laughs> like, now I don't expect you to save this. Like, you happen to do it, but, like, the fight's not in a good position. Okay, so you put Winner right here. So you're going to win this duel against the Echo, which is, quite frankly, embarrassing for the Echo. She is enormously advantaged here. <laughs> I have no idea how she loses it this badly. So this, on its own, I would give you a plus one four, but because you let your DPS die, I would even it out and say zero for the fight. So we have two zeros and a minus one. So Genji right here dies. This is a tough angle to hit the Genji. I would be splashing on top of this car, and especially since you're already in the air, that shouldn't be that hard to do. You also should be closer. I don't know if this is a true minus one territory though, because really it should be the Mercy keeping her up, but the Genji's also standing in a spot where you should be healing. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say minus one depending on 
how the rest of the fight plays out, but it feels like borderline minus one territory for me. Kill a lamp, which is not really valuable because the lamp was going to expire anyway and no one's near it. Trees up. Reload, you get super low. Uh, you regen your burst, but like after a long time, like at this point, like why regen your burst? Like Mercy's already healing you. Just let the Mercy heal you out and save burst, right? Now I want to step forward to be able to make sure I can regen burst my Sigma. Lots of shooting, but not actually hitting anything. And again, constantly spamming your boots for no reason. Like, I feel like it's just throwing off your aim and not doing anything of, of value, right? Like, what what's really happening here that you need boots for? Like, is boots helping you stay alive? Is it helping you land shots? It's not. Like, you're just spamming boots to spam boots. So you let soldier die here. I'm pretty sure you could have saved this soldier. But I don't think it's really your fault. I mean, the Mercy's already healing him, so I would not... I would not. I think you could have saved him, but I don't think it's your fault. And I think that distinction is important. So you keep healing right now. You go for the Echo, which is the right call, right? Again, you need to weave, right? You're only healing or shooting. Like, you're not weaving the vast majority of the time. And I think that is definitely going to hold you back. So you see Sigma here. You should not have regen burst because the Sigma is not below 50% yet. So you want that extra healing? Just save it. Uh, I mean, the Genji is, like, kind of low. Not that low. Like, he's already being healed by the Mercy. I think you're fine here. I think now you want... Once you see Critical, then pop Shift. Critical is a good way to tell because Critical will tell you they're below 50% health, right? So then you know Regen Burst is going to give them the full healing instead of being short 50. 50 health makes a difference. Again, you're spamming Boots constantly for no reason. That Boots, I think, was actually okay. But realistically, this is a 3 on 5, so I don't think there's almost any way that you can turn this fight. So Sigma is backing up. You should be backing up as well. Instead, you see how you, you dally here, and then that takes you out of position. So now you're super extended. You jump off into the middle of your team for some reason, even though you don't even have burst anyway. Uh, I guess you do have burst, but like your burst will go far enough regardless. Like Your burst easily goes out to here, right? No problem. I don't know why you decide to step in like this. This feels like a very poor call. Um, fortunately, again, they're not doing a lot of damage. Like, realistically, I think against a stronger team, your team would just got melted by now. You've been up for quite a while. Sigma dies here. I don't think there's anything to do about that. Even if you landed the grenade, like, he's just taking too much damage now. You do miss two, but I... I mean, I guess if you hit the two, he, he could drop off in time. But he should have sealed it off. So... I would say... I would say my overall feel here is minus one. I just don't think you're doing enough to deserve to win this, this fight. In fact, not only are you not doing enough to deserve to win the fight, I think you're, you're inefficient enough that I don't think you deserve to, fight, to win the fight, is my take. You're going to regen burst here. Does your soldier actually need it? He does not. Your soldier is basically full health. Those shots missed. So you waste the burst there, which means that now he's low, and now you don't have the ability to heal him. That was a good midair direct. Unfortunate. Mercy gets killed instantly. You have to save yourself, but the question is, does this even matter? No, it does not. So, I mean, I guess that's was another team fight, so we'll call that a zero. Like you were, you were destined to lose that fight no matter what. Mm, it's actually, it's a, it's the same team fight, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and, and remove that zero. So right now you're zero, zero two two for the record. All right, going back. So again, lots of jumping here. I, I guess this position's good. You put this window really far forwards, which actually does work out because your team is able to make use of it. Uh, your soldier certainly is able to. I think having a little further forward would be okay. I think it's not. A, it, I don't think it's the best window, but I don't think it's the worst window. I think it's actually okay. I think jumping right now is insanely dangerous with 14 health. Again, I think, I think you're at a level where jumping is like helps you dodge a lot of attacks and so you think that it's good for you but at higher levels the second you do this there is a zero percent chance you are making it back to the ground alive like there is no way that you are going to survive to this like just zero zero percent chance you are dead um anyway you also shouldn't be an los of the window to begin with you also should have popped the lamp like an, a mile, an hour ago, right? Like, look, you have 8 health right now. Throw lamp. <laughs> Thinking that you're not going to die right now with Echo in your face is crazy. Soldier dies there. Not really your fault. You throw a lamp late, though, but it's, like, tough. I think you could have saved them. I think you had enough time to realize that you should have you saved them. Right? He's critical. Oh, yep, he's critical right now. Mm, it's tough. It, it would have been tough. Even if you threw it right away, that would have been tough. I'll, I'll keep it as a 0 for now. 
See, you see how easy it is to shoot someone who's jumping in the air? <laughs> you walk up to the Sigma for no reason. All right, keep the Mercy alive, that's good. You didn't need to drop off there. You should have reloaded earlier while you're jumping. Kill the Echo! Oh man, kill the Echo, what the heck? <laughs> like, you could see her on your screen. Prioritize killing enemies over healing teammates if you can kill them quickly, right? The Echo dies in literally one burst right now. You do 75 damage, she only has like 55 health, right? One, two, three, dead. Echo gets saved. Echo is a fool and walks in the front line for some reason, but she dies. Okay, we'll take it. And then you're going to take this fight. I'm going to say zero for this. I don't feel like you made any amazing plays. I don't think you did anything disastrously either, so it's okay. Going forwards. Yep, just shooting. This is pretty regular. Aim is, I would like to see you see it hit a lot more shots against the Sigma, so watch. So, one, two, three, miss. One, two, three, miss. Uh, you miss about half of those. Right, now you're back on track. And now you miss again. So, not not ideal, right? I think, you know, for this stretch, I'd say below average for your level. Um, but in general, I think you've been better than this. You're going to pop regen burst here for zero reason. Right? Uh, who are you healing with this? Like, you want to heal 20 health on the other two DPS? This is a waste. It's a huge waste. So this is minus one territory, I would say. Reload. Try to heal the soldier out of the air. I don't know why you're jumping right now. There's no reason for this. There's, there's no need for this jumping. <laughs> okay. Still, yeah, trying to heal. I would, For the record, when the Genji was there, I would just splash it against the wall to make, make her life easy. But you also note that you're not weaving at all. You're just ex exclusively focusing on healing. You heal the Cassidy, which is the right call. You should be healing the second shot. Should have been healing the Genji. That would be a really tough shot, though. You throw Lamp for no reason. I think you think the Sigma might die, but Sigma's full health right now, and your Lamp is short. So definitely minus one territory. You're wasting abilities left and right. So. Genji goes in. You reload, you go forwards. You put window, except this is a five on three situation. This is a this is a waste. This is a big waste. You see, like nobody's even using the window, right? This is a huge waste, and you don't even get a kill out of it. Yeah, that's a minus one for sure. Gets scripted. Uh, what is this burst for? <laughs> Ooh, what? <laughs> That's rough. I, I, it feels to me like you're having trouble with the speed of the game. Um, you're just like hitting buttons to hit buttons because you're just like, I want to get maximum impact, hit all the buttons. You know, you got to be much more intentional with when you hit the buttons. I do like this reposition. I think this is a really good reposition. It makes it very hard for the team to deal with you. I think being up here forcing life for your off is good. I would say this is borderline plus one territory. I, I like the reposition. I think it puts you out of uh, danger for most of the enemy team. It allows you to still do your job. It gives the Mercy a, a flight target. You know, and you're able to force the life weaver off early. I think this is good. I think this. Is, I, I like this. This lamp is literally for no one. There's actually nobody here, and certainly nobody low, unless you're trying to save the cart from death. I don't understand this. So, you're going to now drop down for no no real reason. I guess you're trying to save the soldier because you heard visor. Yeah, I guess this is okay. You're trying to save the soldier. I understand this. I don't know why you're attacking the Sigma instead of the Moira. Again, kill supports first. Right, whenever possible, kill supports first. Why are you reaching? Why are you jumping there? <laughs> it's so it's like crazy how often you do this. You're gonna get absolutely rolled when you fight against like widows if you because this the problem is this is gonna become an ingrained habit for you, right? Like it's it's gonna become part of your muscle memory and you're gonna spam jump all the time. And so when you're playing against like Cassidy's or widows or Ashes, you're just gonna get murdered, right? In this game, the Ash is able to do anything because the Genji is like so much better and applying so much pressure to her. I would say overall this feels like a zero to me. Again, you you're on track for a plus one. Uh, but then I think you kind of, the poor ability usage kind of throws everything down. Uh, everything kind of falls apart from there. All right, so let's focus on defense. So right here, you're going to kill a Life Weaver, which I think that was another bad regen burst. This is 
It takes you a while, but this is a great play. I wish you did more weaving, but this is like plus one territory. I think that that is good. Killing the life weaver there for nothing, right? No abilities usage is, is really, really good. I don't know, agree with that lamp. <laughs> the the Sigma is totally fine, right? The enemy Sigma is even grasping. They're clearly, their, their team is losing the fight. You killed one, your team is pushing to them. Lamp is not required right now, right? So I, this, I feel like this like erases your plus one, but I think it's going to be still okay. You're way too close to the Sigma. Like, why are you getting so close? You have trouble with like maintaining a constant distance to your sigma okay you should just always be like roughly this distance away maybe a little further but like you keep creeping towards the sigma and the front line just like subconsciously without realizing it and that's a really really important habit that you need to to work yourself out of right maintain that distance constantly but regardless i mean you killed the life weaver i'll give you a plus one for that fight because now we're already pretty much in the fight too You get low here. Honestly, I would have just lamped myself because splash damage from the Sigma would have killed me. So you pause here for too long. I would, yeah, I'd already been healed by the Mercy. I would have started healing earlier. I think you could have saved the Sigma there, the Genji there. You're just not having Im any impact right. You see, now you're exclusively healing. Now you're exclusively shooting. Right? You should be weaving. Again, weaving so important. You regen burst again right now. Do you need regen burst? Like your Sigma is missing 75 health right now. Not, and less than that by the time you actually pop it. So he's missing 50 health. Like, who cares? It's, it's no problem, unless the Mercy was low. The Mercy's low, actually. I don't know if you realize the Mercy was... No, she's not low, actually, at that moment in time. And she's not in range anyway. So I would say we're tracking, trending towards minus one here. You should go up right now. As soon as I saw him shooting, I would have jumped to try to heal whoever he was shooting. But Pfizer pop. But, like... I feel this This is also a really good example of like how much better your tank and DPS feel than the opposing team. Like They're not able to do anything. Your team is just rolling them constantly. Right? And your team is even down at DPS. Again, you see how you're, you're drifting forwards unnecessarily? Don't do that. You had an opportunity to get a kill there, but it's pretty far. I would not consider the minus one for not getting a kill. That kill there is not expected. So you see how you get too far forward, that require, that results in you getting hit by this Hanzo arrow. You should not be here. You see you get shot out of the air. You regen burst, but you don't wait for the Sigma to get through. Slash, you're too low, so you get scared. So it, shield's going to block your regen burst, in case you didn't know. So really, just just play behind car, right? Play behind car and you're good, right? Or play, play high ground here. You got some options. Don't play in the middle of the road. See, now you're double healing because you're... You're having trouble with the muscle memory of doing both. You heal, lamp, right? That's the right call. Yep, good. Ah, uh, I don't think that regen burst got him because I think it's blocked by car LOS. Uh, I think he does get it. He does get it. Yeah. Car didn't block it completely. So you peek wide here, which is quite dangerous. Again, the Sigma could almost one-shot you here. You get super low, now you're running back. You're grossly out of position, yeah. So I would say minus one. <laughs> like, you have to look at this from their perspective to understand just how far out of position you are. Right, I'm attacking. So you drift towards the left. At this point, I'd already start attacking you with Sigma. Now you're really far to the left. At this point, I, if I'm the end of Sigma, you are dead. You're, there's nothing in the world that will save you from not dying right now. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to step forward. I'm literally going to ignore the Sigma, walk forward, and kill you. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. Right? Again, super out of position. Start the damage. Right? And now you just get killed. So, for the record, even if you hit him at this distance, you're going to do something like 10 bolt damage per bullet. Right? So, like 30 damage. That's like nothing. <laughs> There's literally no reason to bother shooting the, the Hanzo when he's that far away. You have to step forward because the fight is going to happen here. You have to know from a game sense perspective, this is going to be a very intense fight because your Sigma is doing the correct thing, which is stopping them right before the cap, which means you have to get up here and play here, right? Or play here or play here or something like that, right? Here, anything that is not a million miles away from where the fight is happening right now. You gotta get forwards. Like you're really out of position. Your Sigma's doing a great job, considering that all he, he only has one support. I, I want to make very clear: 
starting from this moment in time, you are doing nothing, right? Effectively nothing. You're basically, if you're AFK, you would have about the same impact as you are right now. Nothing you're doing is helping your team win the fight at all. This is very, very out of position for Baptiste. You need to get a lot closer. Right. Again, constantly spamming jump for no reason. You pop window here. This is a good window opportunity, right? They're down one. You throw lamp, even though you're not actually in danger of dying yet. I feel like you just got nervous from coalescence. You could have thrown a heal here first. You're not weaving at all. A heal right now is boosted, so it's going to do 100 to 120 on your uh, Sigma. He absolutely needs these heals, right? That would have been huge to heal right now. Luckily, he gets the grasp off just in time. All right, you pop. Again, you could weave right now, right? Shot, shot, heal, shot, shot, heal, shot, shot, heal, right? Or shot, heal, shot, heal. You're having trouble with that. Stop healing the soldier. It's not your job. Just keep the Sigma alive. Remember what I said about the supports? So your Mercy will keep the, the soldier alive, right? Your job is to keep the Sigma alive. Don't force your Mercy to heal the Sigma. That is a mistake. This right now is bad. In the long run, this is bad. You want your Mercy damage boosting the soldier. Your job is to keep the Sigma alive. Not exclusively, right? Not only healing him, but shooting and healing the Sigma alone. That's all you do. Like, this is a golden moment for Baptiste. I love it when I when this is in my situation with Baptiste. I don't need to focus on anything. I'm not being dove. I have to worry about snipers. Shoot, heal, shoot, heal, shoot, heal, shoot, heal. Over and over and over again, right? That's your pattern. Do not stop doing that. So, healing. I think the Moira is leeching you. Yeah, the Moira is leeching you. You decide to ignore her, which I think is okay. I don't think it's a terrible call here. But now I would turn fighter. Like, I have to fight her at this point in time. We're not going to win this fight if no one kills the Moira. Unless, you know, the other team just kills... Your team literally kills everybody. We throw a window or a lamp. I don't think your Sigma needs a lamp. I don't even understand why you walked into this. Like, just, just go back and just take cover. You, like, literally are walking to the Sigma's face as though you want him to kill you. Luckily, he's using Grasp, so you don't die. Yeah, I mean, your tank is just so much better than theirs. It's like the, the difference is massive. <laughs> Alright, and that's basically it for the game. So, I would say zero for that. So, uh, some values, right? So, you're, you have one plus one, you have five zeros, and you have four minus ones. So, that gives you a net score of negative three. That puts you in the ballpark of about a 40% win rate. I think that's probably unfair. Um, I think it's probably closer to 45, but that's, I think that would probably be what feels right to me. I think this is roughly on track to like a 45% win rate if you played at this level every single game. And to some of your points, I don't think your aim is actually the issue here at all. I mean, like, could your aim be better? Of course it could be better. It can always be better. But the issues here are mostly around your positioning and your decision making, right? And in particular, your inability to weave at critical moments is really screwing you over. I think that's really, really hurting you. So if I had to summarize, I would say, number one, focus on weaving, right? Really important. I think you, like, sort of do it, but when things get stressful, you only heal or you only shoot. So number one, focus on weaving. Uh, number two, be very careful about using your abilities, okay? Baptiste is the longest ability cooldowns in the game, right? Between lamp at 25 seconds and then regen burst at 15 or whatever, right? Crazy long cooldowns for Baptiste. You cannot waste his cooldowns. So um, again, weaving, ability usage, positioning, right? Getting too close to the front, overextending, sometimes not being too close, not being close enough to be able to help your team. These are all things that are going to hold you back in the long run. You, love, you won this game, but to be perfectly honest, it did not feel like you played a strong factor in winning this game. All right, I'm going to stop there. Hopefully it's helpful.